All right, Michelle, we're back with Penny. I'm sorry to hear about your grandma, girl. I just, whatever you need me to do, I'll just keep working with her until you get here, so. I don't want you to worry. She's, she's gonna be a joy for you guys, and I want you to keep working with her, and obviously she's a very talented little dog. Very. You know, and any of these dogs can, they are very trainable. And if you said, Oh, hi, Ray. How's Billy? How's all your whole musical family? <laughs> um, I like Ray. I like artists. You know, I, I say all the time, Ray, and I think Ray will agree with me. You, you really need four kinds of friends. Artists, intellectuals, dreamers, and doers. You know, you have to have these friends, and if you're there, Jamie, that Matt Duffy, I mean, these guys are dreamers, and... I understand it is a hard way to go. <laughs> yeah, it is a hard way to go. But that guy's you, Jamie. That guy's you. Now, I don't remember exactly how the story went, but that he wrote that song, and it just it sums up life on Beachside over there, because you said what's Beachside? It's an island off of the mainland. If you said what goes on there, not a lot of drilling work ethic into people, let's put it that way surfing and yeah, a lot of parties and stuff okay so hang on there she's gone around the corner so my job is to disappear Okay, so I am incorporating other things into this too, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you step by step how to get them to do it. But I am adding my haptic collar, and I do. I see where the guy from Court is coming, if you're there, Jared, uh, next week. And if you said, what's that? It's it's this haptic collar. You know, these people are way ahead of their time. They don't realize it. <laughs> they don't realize it. They don't realize it. Ow! <laughs> Be careful. So the collar is not, you know, if you said, only thing I can see when I see that is a shock collar, I'd say, you're an idiot. You are an idiot. And, you know, I think people that really, that are good dog trainers, they are viewing it as an art form, the way the dog moves and everything else. I mean, they're not, you know, if you said people don't place value on stylish dogs, yeah, they do. <laughs> That'd be my response. If there's two dogs, if they're competing and it comes down to the end and there's two of them and they're equal in every way except for one is more stylish the more stylish one's going to get it so anybody that says people that train dogs don't place value on style doesn't know very much about dog training because that's that's all it really is about is you want stylish looking not these dogs that look like they've been beaten so what i'm saying is i'm going to be able to use that pager to get her on that <laughs> You said, what happened? I'm gonna tell you what happened. She, I flinched and I didn't, I, my timing was slightly off. So I just, I glossed it over. Yay. Oh, yay. <laughs> yay. So if you want him to get
get the sunglasses. You have to start with the miniature. I understand that now. The miniature version of the sunglasses. No, he's coming here next week, Chelsea. Jared's coming here on Monday and Tuesday. I have to tell him I can block off like 90 minutes one day, maybe an hour the other day, and then possibly go to dinner at Norwood's. <laughs> I can't be bribed that way. That I could be available for. <laughs> if you said, well, what, what, what do you like when you go there? I like people that say, get whatever you want. <laughs> if not, I just get myself whatever I want. Okay, so the way... <laughs> Jared, sorry, he's like, uh-oh. The way I'm doing it is initially train training it as... When you're doing it as a shape to retrieve, you've got to start on this end. You can't throw the thing away and try to get it back. You're starting, <laughs> you're starting that small. If you said, well, that just, a baby could do that. Yeah, a baby could do it. And so if they have the intellect of a three-year-old, well, then we're not asking too much. <laughs> So what I like to do, once I've got that initial subtask, is start, if you're there, Sharon, start making it into a little drill, but you don't have to be in a hurry to do that. But you need three similar objects, and it looked like all your objects were different. At some point, if you're gonna do drills, you've gotta have the things be the same. And if you said why, you're not gonna risk predilection towards objects and if you said what do you mean yeah they're gonna like certain things better you know if you give this dog a choice between if i give it a choice between these things it's gonna probably pick up that hummingbird first so if i give it a choice between it doesn't matter which one she picks up first so now i've got the initial subtask whoops hang on i've got the initial subtask so now i say i'll make it into a little drill yay So that's a drill. If you said you can't repeat, you can repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, and repeat it. Everybody knows their part. And if you said, well, should I just start doing drills and never break it down into a subtask? No. That's why, that's the problem with dog training. I want you to think of it like this is what's going on with dog training, Ray. It's like people thinking, I know how to play chopsticks, I'm a musician. <sighs> I went online and learned how to play the guitar. Now I'm going on tour. Except for with dog training, they're able to fool these people. Awful. <coughs> if you said people can't recognize good music, you're right, a lot of people can't. That's why all these music producers. I can't even think about it. I don't even want to think of the reality of the world. I like to just live in my little snow globe bubble. Anyway, I can just do it again as the drill. Yay! 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 So if you said, what are you doing with the drill? You are adding a reflex of boom, boom, boom. Not, if you don't do it like that, your only reflex is boom. There's no, you're not allowing for more than one object. <laughs> I, yeah, I, you know, and people could say, well, I don't do it like that. Well, I do. I think right away you need to help the dog understand. It, it, it just you're getting the behavior more solidified. Anyway, so now I can add distance. If the dog understands it has to put it in my hand, the dog isn't an idiot. If it's way over there and my hand is over here, well, if you said, well, that's a problem that they have to solve. <laughs> Well, so are these dog puzzle things or whatever that they have. I'm totally against those, Chelsea. Those little games where the dog just plays by itself. Yeah, that's like, here, kids, play this video game while Mommy does something else. That's what it seems like to me. It's not factoring the dog in. It's not improving the handler skill. Oh, here's an idea. This is, of course, designed to prove your hand, improve your handling skill. Not get your dog to play by itself. <laughs> it's too much. So, here's the dilemma. My hand is way over here. You've got plenty of... You've got plenty of time to yak it up on the way back. If you said, when can I get excited? And then, 
Not when you first see it and it's jumping on you. Boy, I'm going to yak it up when she's on the way back. So there you go, she graduates from Pitbull Sunglass School. It's very, very important to remember, and I want you to write that down, the barking, the twirling, all of that is a precursor to the behavior that you want. We want that to go away, but that's a part of that dog. If you said, I've never seen that behavior, it's never twirled around, barked, and pawed at us. So I've never done it, I've did it every single day, I, if I had to guess, you know, so, it's not a bad thing. Now that we've got it as a precursor, you need to understand that if you're trying to teach the dog something new, that may occur. And give her a chance to think through it. Because if she started barking and clawing at me and I started saying, shake hands, shake hands, and grabbing her hand, she would just keep doing that. She wouldn't go back and look for the sunglasses. Oh my God, she found the, oh, she found the white sunglasses. <laughs> oh my god, the glasses were underneath that platform. <laughs> Remember I said I didn't know what happened to the white ones? <laughs> That's where they were. I only had the pink ones. <laughs> you found them. It actually worked. It actually worked. It's not just in theory. I saw her digging under there. I thought it was just a treat. If you said, how did she see them? Probably because they were the white ones. Probably because they were the white ones. She's the cutest dog ever. Am I wrong? That was, I mean, am I wrong, Chelsea? That's pretty cool. I said earlier, it wasn't a, it wasn't a staged. If you said, you mean you just dropped those glasses and somehow they ended up under there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I still don't know where my house keys are. Remember those house keys? I said, I better not lose these house keys while they're lost. <laughs> Gone. Gone. Never to be seen again. So if you said, what was I doing when she was barking? I was staring right through her. I was staring right through her. All right, watch her. You're going to see the little precursors. She left them all out. She left them all out. If you said, what's my internal dialogue? I understand I've got to bend it where it's looking over its shoulder. And the only way to do that is, I'm not looking at her at all. She can see where I'm looking. That's my tail. He said, what distracted her? Oh, any little noise. Yeah, she's the cutest dog ever. All right, let's work on the default down a little bit. I know Michelle's very concerned about that. All right, let me get rid of the stuff real quick.
have made the biggest mess ever. I do like the towel for the precursor for the down. That's my towel. He said, what did I reward? The precursor. Because that's her precursor for laying down is that little circle thing. You could break this down. You, yay. You're not going to be able to <coughs> technically tear that apart. Yes, you're not. The fact that it left all the precursors out the last time it went to go get the sunglasses. I mean, if you said, well, from the behavior's viewpoint, I, she says the most interesting part of it. That's the most interesting part of it. That I said you wanted to leave, that that quickly it, it left it out. <coughs> and you can, you can skip over things. I, you know, I need to think of better analogies, but <coughs> I, I kind of say it like if you see a trailer for a movie you've seen before, you know that movie or you know that scene or whatever. Me, if I haven't seen a movie for... Look, she goes and looks on her own. Yay! <laughs> oh, she double checks. She even double checks. She's absolutely perfect. Yay. <laughs> She's the most perfect pit bull ever. She's precious. When she did that, I just fluttered my eyelashes. <laughs> you said, what did that mean? <sighs> Your little thing isn't working on me. Anyway, so you see, we've got a dog laying down on the platform. If you said, well, what do I need to do? You need to just reinforce that as the mindset to the dog. Boy, I got some good ideas. <laughs> it's very, very hard for people not to tell them what to do, but you've got anybody if anybody said, I, I've got a photographic memory, I'm able to completely copy everything you would do, I, I've got to get a job, I t open a dog school, you'll be able to do it. <laughs> you know, don't worry. <laughs> if you're able to copy everything I'm doing, you'll be able to oh, open a dog school and make a living training dogs. <laughs> if you said, I don't see it, I said, please. It's hard for people, you know, that's why actors have to rehearse and rehearse and rehearse. <laughs> I just like her little liver lip on the bottom. She sticks her little lip out. So she's weighing the options of what to do. To me, she's a much, much more confident, though. You said, how closely is she watching me? If you said, well, don't watch me that close. Well, that's because you teach dogs what you're like. You know, and it's, it's, you're not going to find a serious pro trainer on the planet that is not going to say Yay. <laughs> that all these behavior problems and all this crap is 100% handler error. There's no such thing as a dog that pulls, only a handler that gets pulled. It's true. So there's your default down. We've got the recall. I'm gonna take him out in a minute in a group and do the recall, but I'm not touching the dog. I'm not continually reaching for its ears. I'm not thumping its ribs and stuff. If you said, well, that means love to me when somebody thumps, I said, done to me. I say, don't ever touch my ribs. Shh. <laughs> don't ever thump my ribs. Shh. It's like that friends where the boss was constantly slapping Chandler on the ass. To the point he just couldn't take it anymore and he was scooting along the wall and everything else to avoid it. So, anyway, I think you can see she's doing, oh, hi, Bugsy. I think you can see she's doing great. And if you said, how permanent are these behaviors? They're permanent. That's what you've got to look at. If I said, well, I taught it, he'll sit down, stay, come, uh, get in your place. Is it, 
No. I got it where you can move it around with this page or either to, to or fro, <laughs> to or fro, and its internal dialogue is, if I put stuff in their hand, they give out prizes. <laughs> That's what it's thinking, you know. It's, she's not thinking there may anybody making me do anything. And that's, that's going to be the most permanent. It, her mindset is, I behave this way because it's just the success level is mind-boggling. That's what she's saying. You know, and that's what they need to be saying to themselves. Not, I behave this way because I fear correction. And that's what irks me about these people. Oh, these pure positive. Oh, a shock collar. <laughs> If you knew anything about animal behavior, you would understand this is clearly not... She's going to lay down. That's the tell. Yeah, she's thinking about it. You know, you've got to understand there's two ways for them to lay down. Mechanically and intellectually. And if you said, well, what, 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 where do you want to be? You want the two things meeting up. You're just watching this thing, looking for the tail. You said, well, who does that kind of stuff? Behaviorist! Behaviorist. He said, I'm going to train a dog, but I'm not going to be any part behaviorist. I said, oh, you're going to fail. Yeah, it's not going to work. It isn't going to work. Because you're not going to, you're going to be seeing it through a filter. And it's, it's, that's going to make things wrong. <laughs> it's going to make you see things wrong. And there's another tell. Well, if you said, what am I looking at? You're always looking at the front legs. And look how her shoulders are braced. The head is kind of dropping, but the legs aren't letting it do it. Oh, she's a big player, too. I've been letting her play with Brody. You know, he's kind of fearless, and she's got to kind of learn. Don't, if, she has to kind of learn that if I don't overreact, I don't get overreactions to my behavior, which is kind of what she does. Yay. <laughs> She's gonna do it again, though. You need to just be patient. Oh, she smelled a crumb. Yeah, no, she's gone. Okay, so if you said, you know what? Hey. So I think, you know, you have to say to yourself, in order to be driving the dog in my direction, I need to be moving the opposite direction. So I just kind of drove her from a short distance in my direction. But that's what you have to say to yourself. It's, it's in order to do that, especially if you say, well, how long am I going to have to do that? Who knows? Who knows? But if, you know, you've got to drive it. If you have to say, what was my confidence rate in the dog coming to me before I had the pager? If it was zero, then we need to run with my method. <laughs> Anyway, guys, i got to get this phone out of the sun, but I'll be back. I've got more episodes planned. So, anyway, I'm super proud of her. And we can just get, you can just for now start working with the sunglasses or whatever. But she'll be able to get keys or anything. Anything. Anything you drop. You know, she'll give it to you. And, you know, then this is giving her a purpose. She's going to start falling asleep again. Watch her head. But if you said, why does she sit up there? She sits there because she's believing she's successful, not because I'm telling her to do it. She could be sitting anywhere. You're loading that thing by having a bias towards the chance of success, their confidence rate of the success on the platform. You need to write that down, Chelsea. The dog needs to say to itself, my confidence rate of being successful on the platform is very, very high, even into the 110% range. <laughs> Am I wrong? Oh, yeah. uh -uh. You know, her 
her her mind is telling her body to do it, but the body's fighting it. So if I start fighting the dog too, yay, yay. So there's the teeniest, tiniest little soundtrack. Yay, yay. Giving her the wink and the nod. That's where, Chelsea, if you had that old Tritronics tone collar, that's where you'd add it, concurrent with the yay. Then you'd make the tone and the yay the same thing. You know what I mean? Yay. It ha I think it would have to be very subtle, though. Or, no, 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 no. If you had a dial on the tone so that you could modulate the volume, Obviously, the absence of the yay, yay, yay when it stood back up alone would be somewhat of effective as a learning tool, don't you think? Anyway, guys, let me run and get some more treats, and she's doing fabulous. So I hope you guys are all doing okay, Michelle, and just drive careful. But not, I don't want driving all upset and stuff, but she'll be fine. I'm going to be here all week, if you said until when. Until from now until the end of time. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'll be right here, live on Facebook.